Thanks to Salesforce for sponsoring this portion of the video. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and I am a new man. Gone are the days of carrying these giant backpacks. Okay, not really, but I am on a new wave. As you guys can see, your boy is rocking a new kind of backpack. This is a sling. This is from Alpaca. Uh, this is going to be like my everyday carry when I'm not doing work. Maybe I'm just going somewhere with Ari, nothing work related. This bag right here should be able to cover me and carry all the things that I would want to take with me at all times. So let's check out what's inside. But first, we got to give a huge shout out to Salesforce for sponsoring a portion of this video. If you're a small or growing business looking to improve your relationship with your customers, you're going to want to check out Salesforce. They make it easier for your business to adapt to evolving customer needs since we all know this is becoming a more digital work from anywhere kind of world. So if you find yourself spending a lot of time on your website, you might as well make it work harder for you by leveraging lead capture forms available through Salesforce. When you need to get a message out to your customers or share a special promo, mass email is always the way to go, but you can't forget about personalization. Salesforce can help you send a message to a specific list of recipients, no matter how broad or targeted you want that list to be. And you can also assist your customers no matter where they are by connecting through email, phone, or social channels. If you think your business can benefit from better customer relations, definitely request a demo or get started for just $25 per month per user. And I'll definitely have links down below in the description so you guys can check it out. But huge shout out to Salesforce for sponsoring this portion of the video. But now, guys, let's talk about this life-changing decision that I've made over here with this Alpaca Bravo sling. So we've got a little clip over here. Makes it really easy to take this thing off. And here you have it, guys. Very, very different compared to what you guys typically see me carry around. And it's nice, I feel a lot more free, you know? I don't have a big backpack just holding me down. But you know, I'm, I'm getting used to the idea of not having all of my tech with me. And this has been an awesome bag to do that with because Alpaca actually makes some really high quality bags. Uh, this thing is water resistant. It has anti-theft uh, features built into like the zippers. And it just, I feel like it looks good. And it's got the compartments that I'd be looking for in a bag this size, uh, built in uh, USB charger so that if you wanna throw in a portable charger, you can charge things right from the bag. So this is pretty much everything I would look for when trying to downsize my bag. So let's start off with what we got in the very front pouch. And this actually surprisingly holds quite a bit. So I got my keys, of course, and you guys might've seen my key situation from what was it? The last video was favorite tech of the month. And uh, you know, I've got some cool things here. We've got the key smart uh, key holder. So it holds all my keys right inside here. It has tile functionality. So if I lose it, I can just find it on my phone through this built in flashlight, that kind of deal. And of course I've got an air tag on here as well. So yeah, I got my keys pretty standard. Got my wallet, also standard. Don't be looking in here, Carl. Yo. Ah, ah. <laughs> Let's see, I've also got an S Pen. This is the Fold Edition because I've been walking around with the Galaxy Z Fold for the last few weeks. And of course, it doesn't have a spot to hold the pen like the Note series, but I've been keeping the pen inside of here. It also works for the S21 Ultra which I've been personally walking around with me as my secondary device. So I got the pen with me so I can use it with whichever Samsung device I wanna use. And I got my blade with me. So if I need to open up a package or something, I've got a nice little, cool little samurai blade with me. Carl, don't be, ever come for my knife again, bro. You need a kunai in that bag. A kunai would be dope. A kunai <laughs> would be dope. But I don't trust kunais. Them things are sharp. So this is like kind of what I got up front. Nothing super crazy, just the essentials, keys, wallet, that kind of deal. But when we get inside the main compartment, got the sunglasses case. You guys might have seen my video with Mr. Mark Zuckerberg. I won't talk too much about it, Carl. <laughs> but yes, these are the Ray-Ban stories. I'm like a sunglasses guy now. Uh, these are the glasses that Facebook came out with. Ray-Bans with tech built inside of it. So we've got the dual cameras up front. 
speakers, microphones, so I can take calls, listen to music, and of course, capture content. So if I'm out and about somewhere and I don't wanna pull out my phone, but I need to record something, I can do it right from my sunglasses, which is super dope. And there's also an LED light, so you can't just go recording people or taking photos of them without them knowing. You've got that right here. This has been really cool uh, for taking videos of Austin, because that's, let's be real, that's what I take pictures and videos of mostly these days. Uh, and it's been cool to be able to have a pair of like tech sunglasses now. I'm not a sunglasses kind of guy, but now I am. Cool. And actually their case also charges them. It gives them about three extra charges. Oh, and I mentioned that this thing has speakers so you can play music from it. Don't worry, it's still a pretty private experience. But anyway, moving on, let's see what else we've got inside of here. So first and foremost, like I said, this thing does have a little USB portion. So you can actually pop this open. Uh, and inside of here, you've got like a SIM ejector tool, which feels kind of random, but you know, I'm never mad at having access to something like this. It's also able to hold, I think like SIM cards or something if you want to under it. But most importantly, Alpaca does have like this USB cable. So it's actually USB type C in here, which is great because that means you can throw in a USB PD portable charger. So this portable charger is from Nimble. I think it has about 13,000 milliamp hours. So that's gonna charge a phone multiple times, lots of battery life here, but it uses USB PD and this charger gives you access to that instead of connecting to one of the regular USB ports where you won't get that fast charging for some of the newer phones out there. So I really like that about this bag. I can connect my USB PD right here, throw in my charger, and look, the blue matches and everything. Like, come on, tell me this is not made for this, Jay. So that's the portable charger that I've got going on over here. Let's actually take this out. We'll put this over here. Next to that, we've got this guy. You might have also seen this in my favorite tech of the month video. This is the R... I went and forgot the model number, Jay. The RG... Ah, it's right here. The RG 351V. So this thing looks like a Game Boy, but it's actually an emulator system. Uh, you can have a ton of different old school consoles on here. So if you're into retro gaming, this thing is capable of a lot. So I'm talking from arcade systems to Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Sega Dreamcast, which is to me the most mind blowing aspect of it. You can also, it also supports PlayStation, uh, the PSP. Uh, so it's got a lot going for it. You can play a lot of different games. For some of the more intense games, it might struggle just a little bit, but the fact that you can play them on here is crazy in itself. I've been playing a lot of Game Boy Advance on this. It's got like a nice 3.5 inch display that's also backlit. So playing Game Boy Advance at night, it, it just, it takes me back, you guys. And it also just feels comfortable to play on. You've got tons of buttons. You got your joystick, standard button controls over here. Uh, my boy Jared is the one who put me onto this. He also gave me the memory card that's inside of here uh, with all the games. Like I said, it's an emulator, so you know, you find your games the way you find your games. So huge shout out to Jared for putting me onto this. I am so glad I didn't have to set this thing up myself. Now in the same vein, we also have the Nintendo Switch. So I've got my Switch over here with the Zelda, I think it, what is it, Skyward Sword HD Joy-Con controllers. I think these look dope. I'm always gonna carry my Switch around with me and I'm just glad that this bag can hold it with like no problem. And if you're curious what games I've been playing on the Switch lately, Yu-Gi-Oh! Always, Pokemon Sword and Shield, I play Sword. I've also been trying to get into the Monster Hunter Stories too. Apex is trash, uh, <laughs> it, is, it is so bad on the system. And Dragon's Dogma, that's another old school game from the PS3 days. But yeah, the Switch has stayed fun for me, so I still carry it around everywhere. That what? Yeah, Jay, what? Come on, man, it's still me. Now, earbuds of choice are gonna be these guys right here, the Sony WF-1000X Mark IVs, lovely name, uh, but I've been loving these earbuds. They've actually replaced my uh, AirPods for now until maybe we see better quality AirPods coming soon. I don't know, I don't have any inside scoop, so <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> but yeah, these Sonys have been great for me. Uh, I think they look really good. They're super compact. This is not a huge case, so it's easy to just throw it in 
to the bag without worrying about it taking up a lot of space. I think they look dope. They sound dope for sure. They have a lot of cool tech features, uh, great ambient noise mode, great noise canceling. These are awesome, absolutely worth every penny. So this is what I've been taking around with me as my main pair of Bluetooth earbuds. And while we're talking about Sony, look what made it back into my bag, Jay. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, uh, RX100, <laughs> man. This is an oldie, but goodie. Uh, this, honestly, is still the best way to capture content. Like, yeah, a phone is super easy, uh, but I've fallen in love with this thing again recently because it just takes better photos than my phone. Uh, recording content on this, it's just leagues better. Phones are absolutely way more convenient, but if you ever really want to put some effort into things that you're capturing, can't be beat. So I've been bringing this thing around with me. And I also have the little tripod for it. So this can attach to the bottom. I am using a cage. You can actually mount a microphone on here if you want, because this thing actually has support for microphones now. So having this combo again has been really nice, especially since I've been trying to capture things with Austin. So of course that thing made it back. Also got, you know, regular USB cables, USB type C. This is like a really, really long one from Nomad. Super long, I think this is one of those 10 feet cables. Dope cable, high quality braided stuff, super thick, should last long. And I think I also have the Anchor Nano Cell. Uh, this is the 20 watt power adapter so that I can plug this thing into a wall, charge up my iPhone if I need to. Of course, I have to take this thing around with me. Jay, this cable's super messy, dude. Cable management. Cable management, always. And that's what we got in the main compartment, Jay. That's all. All right, so there is this one back pouch with some stuff in here as well. I got, I've been carrying around that KeySmart notebook, the waterproof one, you know? You, I write my lyrics, you know, my, my sad songs. It's waterproof, so you could be literally writing in the rain, you guys. You got some sad song lyrics in your head that you want to just jot down. That's when you bust this out. You're like, oh man, why does she leave me? I'm still a fan of jotting things down. If I have ideas, I want to actually put pen to paper. Uh, so this has been dope. They also have like this cool pen. It's all metal. It's a super nice feel. So I like this. I like this thing a lot. That's why I've been carrying it around with me. I mean, and it's waterproof. That's just a flex in itself. Uh, but no, all jokes aside, no matter where I go, if I feel inspiration, I need to jot it down. Pen and paper, baby. Are you dropping your track? Listen, I'll drop my track when Drake and his team reach out and they want a feature. That's, that's when I'll make my debut, okay? On a Drake feature. <laughs> I've also got a long USB it's a lightning cable for my iPhone and a short one just in case I need to pull this thing out and just charge my phone. Uh, this is also from Anchor. It's one of those long cables as well. <laughs> I don't even know why I unraveled it. And last but not least, I've been, I've been carrying this around with me. It's the Apple battery pack. I'm not gonna go out and say grab this. It's there for extra battery life just in case I need to use my phone and like really charge it. Eh, that's all right. And I've also got an air tag in here with this unicorn emoji because you'll never find something like this no matter where you look. You like that, Carl? You see, my lyrics are gonna be crazy, son. That wasn't a rhyme, but you know, the concepts are there. <laughs> so me nowadays, I have to have an air tag in just about everything that I take around with me because I'm not trying to lose anything. Your boy is very forgetful, so I got to make sure that that's there. And we are done. Everyday carry, these are the things that I always want with me all the time. Does, it, does that look like a lot to you, Carl? For that, yes. Like yes. Best. Oh, you mean it's a lot that could fit in here. Yeah. But it's not too many things. I don't have too many things here. Oh, compared to your regular book bag, no, this is, this is like Thank you. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. Everything that you see here will be linked down below in the description. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till the next video, guys, it's your average consumer. Peace. I'll take the wallet. Oh. Carl, get your... <laughs> That's straight. I am not trade. I will never trade wallets with you. <laughs>